Hey friends, my name is Caitlin and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Um, it's uh, going to be over our trip to the Pacific Northwest through Washington and Oregon. Um, so if you're into travel videos, keep watching. I'm <laughs> um, also making videos on lifestyle and home decor as well. So if you're into any of that, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Otherwise, let's get on into it. If you didn't catch that, yes, we did indeed rent a Tesla, and this is us just rolling into the North Cascades to stay at our hotel, but we stopped on the side of the road, and we stopped at this diner to eat dinner, which was super cute, but all in all, we just were getting ready for our trip and hiking for the next day. So our first stop was the North Cascades, which is in Northern Washington State. Um, our first stop for hiking was Thunder Knob Trail. It's pretty short, but it was fairly moderate for us. We're not avid hikers, um, but we really loved the challenge, but also the scenery of this trail. There were some really pretty creeks that ran through here, um, as well as these mountain views, which were my favorite part. The trail was kind of rocky, um, but that was probably just because it's not a very popular trail. This park in general isn't super visited, so, but it has some beautiful scenery and sights. Definitely recommend you check this one out. About halfway up, there are some views of the lake, um, Lake Diablo below. This is one of the viewpoints you can see from halfway up. And then we hiked earlier in the morning and that's when the sun started coming through about halfway, a little bit halfway through. It does get pretty steep. This is us resting. <laughs> um, and there are a few different switchbacks pretty quickly at some point as well, but the light coming through the trees was probably one of my favorite parts of this trail. There's also another lookout point about right before you hit the very, very top of the mountains around you. I highly suggest hiking in the morning if you can because the sun um, in the after early afternoon is beautiful for this part of the park. And this view from the top was so worth it. Again, this is a short trail, but it does get pretty steep at some points. Um, but I loved this view at the top. It made it worth it. And the turquoise color of the water just made the whole, the whole hike even better. next stop was Diablo Lake Trail. This is from the parking lot at the very bottom. This hike was a little bit longer, but um, it had more of a steady, steep, constant hike up. <laughs> that was a little bit more difficult for us. This is the second hike for us that we did during the day, but um, it's a beautiful hike. I highly recommend if you haven't done this one that you do it if you can. At the end of this trail is a dam that overlooks um, the what creates the Diablo Lake, but we didn't make it quite that far, so this scenery was um, what we landed at, but for us it was beautiful enough, so we stayed and then um, here for a little bit, and then we went back down. In total, we hiked about total of 10 miles that day, so it was worth it for us, but if you make it there, let us know in the comments how it was. Um, we were just babies since it was our second hike of the day, but on our way back down, you'll see how it is pretty rocky at some points here as well, but the views were totally worth it, so highly suggest you check it out if you get the chance. Our 
Our next hike was to Mount Rainier. And Mount Rainier was also a shorter trail, um, but it was pretty constantly steep the whole time. It starts out pretty um, dirt and a pretty easy, constant stride up. Um, eventually it does get a little bit steeper and rockier, as you'll see here soon. Say hi. Caitlin, say hi. <laughs> Don't mind me, just admiring the scenery, <laughs> taking a breath. This hike was really pretty. It was so green. It's such a good day. I recommend you go in August like we did so you have the best weather. They say August is usually the driest and warmest time of the year for this part of the um, United States. As you can see, there's another rock field. Every hike we did had one of these in it, so it must just be the way the terrain is, but it was super pretty. Even just watch your steps so you don't fall down the side of the mountain. <laughs> and here's one of the views. This is really what made this, this hike worth it. Um, this is at the top of, after a couple switchbacks that were pretty steep, but that view, <laughs> that view was just so worth it. It was beautiful. And this leads you up to like a little saddle place where you can see all around you, which we didn't get any footage of, but this was one of our favorite hikes of this trip. It was beautiful. And next we went down to the Oregon coast and just saw a few different things that were really pretty. But the thing that we wanted to see the most was Samuel L. Boardman. It's a state park in Oregon. Um, as you can see here from the lookout point, it's incredibly beautiful. Um, the hike itself is a little... Um, but we always just check it out as well. It's beautiful here, um, but again, try to go in August if you can. It is the, the warmest month out there as well as the um, most dry as well. our trip if you guys like this video again hit the thumbs up below so i know you like this kind of content um other than that thanks for watching and thanks for hanging out with me there'll be more videos to come bye friends